know when you feel like you are not good at scripting whatever you're gonna say here on videos and especially if you have an accent especially if English is not your first language today I'm gonna share with you what I do when it comes to my entrances when it comes to anything that I do on videos and how I get to really use the words and really feel confident when doing it and create that engagement and really make it easy for people watching you and for yourself to feel even more confident it's gonna be right about channel I hope you're doing fine today this is another day another week and another video of me and as you can see on the title we're gonna talk about scripting oh this is gonna be a beautiful episode I think I talked about it a little bit on a couple of videos when it comes to how to film your first video how to actually get to be much more confident on video you're gonna have a whole list when it comes to video and YouTube in general because here we combine the personal side the confidence and you showing up on videos to be able to create amazing video content for your personal branding more so building an authentic personal branding because guess what you deserve it I don't speak English as my first language. My first language is French and I got to learn other languages. I talked to a lot of women online, on Facebook groups, on even on Instagram and I got a lot of feedbacks when it comes to people not being able to really feel confident when it comes to talking on videos, especially if English is not the first language. And I find it sad because we all have something to say and no matter the pronunciation, no matter the accent, no matter even the words you're gonna use here, you should be able to just use whatever you already have and that includes you using the words you already have and really grow confident into doing it more and then learn about it along the way so nobody is perfect here nobody so if you took that step to even learn another language and that you want to use it for your own personal branding you're already doing something great here. the first thing I would say is to use your intro as an anchor whenever you start a video saying something it could be good morning everybody hello everybody it's a form of greeting people even though you don't have people in front of you it's just a form of introducing yourself because no matter who's gonna watch your video they could be new people they could be people that actually already fans and call anchor when it comes to sentences and how you're gonna come up with your intro is a way to say the same thing over and over again whenever you start the video because when you use an anchor sentence when it comes to your intro you make it easy for your brain to signal that there's something that's gonna happen and the more you're gonna do it the more the brain is gonna make it familiar for you the more you're saying it the more it becomes a habit the more it becomes natural to you to say it and when you start with something that feels safe to you you tend to not overthink too much to whatever you're gonna say afterwards my introduction is something that I I never really change to lose myself without having to say all the time you know I speak French English Japanese Korean you want to find a way to introduce yourself introduce the person you are the way to say hello in all the language that I know so that people whoever is gonna watch my video even if the whole video is in English if ever they have a question they actually can ask those questions in the languages and I'm gonna be able to answer it it's found in your video Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bienvenue dans votre sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue dans la Annie Canal. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokoso. I hope you're doing fine today. This is another day, another week, and another video of me. The end. You know what I mean? Whenever you start the video, the brain knows there's something that's gonna be familiar, something that's gonna feel safe. The next thing is to have visuals. It's really important, you know, the titles, the subtitle, everything you can have which is visual on your videos, it's super, super, super important because people watch a lot of videos and on YouTube and this platform, there's so much competition. Those attention from the very first beginning, they're just gonna click and go next. When you get to structure it, even before recording it, you have main bullet points you want to talk about. Put when it comes to the visual, the title, the subtitle, the visual, we get to see a bit of your personality. All of that is gonna help you to get people attention and keep those people attention. But don't overdo it. <laughs> 
people are gonna lose their attention real quick because they're not gonna listen to whatever you're gonna say right if you have an accent and you feel like people are not gonna necessarily understand from the get-go whatever you're gonna say short sentences key words all the words that you feel like you are not able to pronounce the right way or you feel like there's something up when you say them out loud put them in a way that is visual people are gonna read it and then they're gonna be able to understand it even better so I use motion moray for a lot of my uh, animations and then I use Canva for a lot of them as well because now I'm editing all my videos on Adobe Premiere because I got a problem and an issue with Final Cut Pro so now I'm all about Adobe and I kind of love it actually next tip is to keep short sentences especially when you are not feeling confident with the language keep it short and sweet if you get to have the whole chapter on your phone when you read it on your phone and just read it and not make it as a dialogue because at the end of the day it has to be a communication between you and the viewers you're not gonna feel included in your videos and you get to practice them even before getting in front of the camera say that you always 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 have to practice before getting in front of the camera go around you walk around in your apartment your place your house wherever you are it becomes natural for you whatever you do sit down somewhere walk around if that makes you feel better and just read it read it read it and speak out loud if you were speaking to somebody or if you have anybody that actually can listen to you for the practice even better when you talk about it feel the energy when you have short sentences you're not feeling confused you make it really easy for you to read it and be comfortable with everything you're gonna say because when it's too long you get to be a lot more confused you get to lose yourself somewhere and you get to just feel a lot more scared school at university probably a lot of people experience that at some point when you have those presentations you have to speak to the whole class you have to speak in front of the whole crowd and remind you i'm really introverted it's being tortured <laughs> feel that way don't you worry about it my friend it's okay i notice that difference is whenever you practice it when you feel shy or if you are an introverted person it's harder for you to speak it's harder for you to express yourself it's harder for you to speak up so when you know you're that kind of person which is not bad you want to make it in a way where you practice it as much as you need to next one is to structure looking for ideas and anything you want to talk about when you're already in front of the camera my whole video on to how to film your very first youtube video or just video in general you need to plan up you have an idea how do you want to start there's an intro there's a question and there's you giving the tips and then you get into the air thing is ready you're gonna have blanks <laughs> so imagine yourself when you have nothing planned just imagine 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 but at the same time it's just gonna make you avoid oversharing to like a 30 minutes video if you don't even know where you're going with it have something a lot more clear something a lot more specific in high school i studied in literature so it was all about the structure it was all about getting to a problem and getting to resolve it and getting to have a structure when it comes to it you're starting with the intro which it's much more your personality but short and sweet and then you're getting to the problem what are you trying to resolve what are the questions here and why it's important for people to actually know your tips and anything you're gonna talk about next then you're getting to the juicy part the meat and you divide it by single bullet points so the single ideas they become the whole argument about anything you're talking about when it comes to the main theme when you want to close when you want to close out the conversation it should be anything when people can look forward to something next the next video find you on social media to keep the discussion happening anything related to a program that you're offering because it's just gonna be a lot more like a lot more okay next here for people that feel like they can't pronounce the right words the right way because they have a lot of American viewers all the languages in general is watch movies or listening to music listen to the pronunciation again and again and again until you get to repeat it practice it and then it becomes natural for you I did it for everything that I learned Japanese Korean Spanish English too the only thing that it can cost you is to pay for Netflix try for anything you're gonna watch online any type of show any type of movie watch it in English if you can and keep the subtitle whatever native language you have I stopped watching any English movies or any English show with the French I was at a point where I was being really really lazy I was like oh you know I'm gonna be fine I'm gonna be fine but when I stopped that 
I really, really got to understand and really listen to the way people pronounce the words and just practice it again and again, listening to it again and again. Korean was the same thing. The Japanese was the same exact thing. Okay, so I'm still gonna have an accent, but for you to feel even much more comfortable is for you to listen to it more and more and more, making it natural whenever you're gonna speak that language. It's like Nigerian accent, like Nigerian movies, if you haven't watched them, you should. And a little bit of tough love here is not about you. It's about people watching your videos. And it's not me, me, me. It's more people watching my videos. You're here to serve or you're here to entertain. Or to bring something different to people that are gonna watch your videos. But thinking about people that actually you can serve, that actually you can help. Get in a way where it's like, you're ready to crush it, to kill it. I hope you adored it. It was pretty much short and sweet, you know. I hope it kind of inspired you. I hope it's just gonna push you to do any type of video, no matter the language here. And if you, <gasps> I get give it a thumbs up if you like it, comment and subscribe if you like it even more because it's gonna be a lot more when it comes to it. And if you have any type of question you want me to answer in a form of video, let me know. That can help you, it can help other people others. Of course, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because there you're gonna have a lot of me, Insta stories, confidence, boost, video content seeds, personal style again here because it's all about the community and it's all about growing from inside to be able to attract the right people for you because you deserve it. That is it for my next video and like I said all the time, smile because it's free and contagious in a good way. Bye!